I was actually sat down in front of an electronics bench with a product that wouldn't work. And I was told, make it work. In, in your answer, you just said that when you first came right out of college, you got a pro level project to work on. That can be pretty intimidating for kids that come out of college, right? There's a, there's a famous phrase, fake it till you make it. How far can you extend the fake it till you make it sentence? So it was, uh, do we get fired? So, you know, that's a real motivator. <laughs> I had to have the confidence to tell myself that I'm, I'm going to make this work. What you said sometimes is understated a little bit, right? You're having the requirements and knowing what to do and where the project should be heading is something that's pretty important in my mind. They say, hey, requirements aren't well written, right? Uh, so I'm going to leave this company. I, I've had, I've worked on projects before where the the requirements were really unclear or missing. I was I was asked to work on developing a spray drying system that would spray dry human plasma. Working on new projects and working on new things to further develop your knowledge and your skill set sometimes requires you to put in time of your own. That's that's a question of responsibility yeah. uh, versus ambition. There's a lot of shift happening, resources being shuffled around between existing projects and upcoming new projects, right? Not invented here is one of those phrases that um, that's how some people operate. You know, that's, that's not really the best way to approach things. Understand what's needed. I have to get this done or they're gonna find somebody to replace me. Are you like gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna expand my horizons because it's an offshoot of what I already know and I'm not gonna say no, or am I just gonna be like, hey, this is my expertise and I'm just gonna play within this. I think people have choices in, in life to make and which way you wanna go with yourself is a big one. It recalls to mind something that, you know, one of your previous interviewees, Fanny, who used to be my boss a long time ago, we were talking about how our company had been acquired 